In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can use the Shortcuts app on the Mac to work with the Notes app. And this is part of a series of videos I'm doing all about the Shortcuts app. So if you haven't seen those other ones, then be sure to head down to the description and check those out down there. Uh, but without further ado, let's get straight on into it, shall we? Now, I thought that a good place to start would be to actually have a look at some of the built-in shortcuts that you can get from the Shortcuts gallery uh, within the Shortcuts app, uh, because this is a great place to start if you're relatively new to Shortcuts because it allows you, well, first of all, it gives you a starting point obviously of something ready-made but it also allows you to go in and sort of reverse engineer uh, and figure out how they've uh, put theirs together in terms of all of the structure of the actions and so on. Uh, it also means that you can then go back and sort of edit these slightly and maybe adjust them to your needs so that's what we're going to do first and then we'll go on to just sort of build some out from scratch uh, that can do perhaps something slightly more complicated and perhaps slightly more useful than those that are built in. Uh, but let's get over to the gallery first of all. Uh, so this is the gallery within the Shortcuts app and we're going to want to have a look first of all for all of those that are related to notes. Now you can obviously just sort of scroll through here and have a look uh, but it is much easier just to search given that we know we want something related to notes. So I'm just going to type in note and we get all of these different uh, options that have been uh, shown to us. Now, these aren't necessarily all related to the Mac OS Notes app. The ones that are in teal are related to Evernote. You've got one here for Ulysses, uh, one here for Bear Notes. Uh, so it's the ones that, in, that are in yellow <laughs> that are related to the Mac Notes app. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. I'm not focusing on those other third party notes applications. So um, we can obviously go in and have a look at any of these and uh, we've seen this before you can just come and click on any one of them it will give you a bit of a description you can click on these three dots just up at the top here uh, and that will show you the uh, full structure of the shortcut so that's one way that you can just go and have a quick look to sort of analyze them um, but what we're going to do is just pick out one of these and uh, I'll just take this first one here which is new note with date and what that's going to do surprisingly enough is it's going to create as a new note with today's date as the title and then it's going to ask us for some input where we can actually add the content of that note. So uh, to install this, you just click on it and then click add shortcut. It will then add it into your uh, shortcuts uh, library and then you can open it up to edit it, which is what I have done. And there it is right in front of you now. <laughs> so here you can see the content of it and uh, the actual structure of it is quite straightforward. It's going to create a new note with the current date uh, and then it's going to add that into a folder. Now I'll come on to this in a moment. Uh, now one thing to uh, have a look at here is it's got this block called comment. I can't stress enough how uh, useful it is uh, for your future self <laughs> if you are creating complex sets of actions in shortcuts uh, to actually add these sorts of comments in to just really, I mean, this is as a, as a cue to you uh, to uh, tell you how they've constructed it. But it's also good for you when you are the one that's going to be looking at it further on down the line. I can't tell you the number of times when I've done written some bit of code or something in whatever language it's happened to have been in over the years. I've gone back to have a look at it later to uh, maybe make some changes and I can't figure out what on earth I was thinking at the time. <laughs> so having adequate comments in there to sort of explain your thought process and what all the different components do is a great habit to get into. Uh, and they've obviously done this just to explain uh, what all these different sections are for and help you with uh, the editing and uh, just to understand it really. So great for this reverse engineering thing because they are actually explaining all of these steps. So basically what it's doing is it's creating a new note with the current date in uh, and it says folder. So we can actually choose the folder that we want this note to go into. So what I've done is in my notes I've got some different folders and I've got one TOT, take one tech, and I've got a notes folder. Uh, so this is where I'm going to be uh, adding these uh, things into uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. <laughs> so if I come back to uh, the shortcut uh, and I want to just click on this where it says folder we can actually select the folder that we want to go it to go into and it's this one here take one tech notes click on that uh, and so this comment is basically just explaining this the above create note action has the current date pre-filled uh, and the tap to show more uh, to see compose sheet is turned off that means the note will be created in the background so it's basically not going to bring it up to the front and we edit it in there. You'll see what's going to happen in a moment. Uh, it's asking for text input uh, with the uh, prompt, what do you want it to say? So if you remember this from a example that we did in the previous video um, or one of the previous videos where we have a little pop-up comes on screen and the user can actually enter some information uh, and they're going to be presented with this question. 
This will all make sense when I actually run it in a moment. <laughs> And it's going to take whatever the user puts into that box uh, and then it's going to append that, that means add it onto um, the, uh, the new note that we've just created. So that's what this comment is explaining. It's basically going to create a note, then it's going to ask for some input and then it's going to take that input and add it into that note. This append feature, by the way, is uh, very powerful and it's one that I use a lot in other automations that I have with, uh, with other applications as well. So uh, creating running lists and all this sort of stuff. But we'll use that as an example when we build out our own one in a moment. Uh, and then what it's going to do is it's going to actually show the note uh, at the end. So those are the steps involved. Now I'm going to run this and there's one thing to note the first time you run these sorts of things. Um, there's a little privacy and security uh, question that pops up um, for the creator which says uh, allow new note with data or new note with data I should say which is the name of this note uh, to create a note so we've got to actually grant shortcuts and this shortcut in particular we've got to grant it permission to be able to go in and edit our notes and create the note so we do just need to allow that this will only happen the first time that you run it uh, and once you've done that uh, it's then going to go on to complete the uh, the action and so here it says, what do you want it to say? Uh, we'll say, hello, this is a note. <laughs> Uh, so there we go. Uh, and now if I click on done, uh, if I come back over to my notes folder, you can see that it is now created this new note uh, and it's got the text that I just added in. Now, obviously, I've just run uh, run that from the shortcuts app, but you could also just as easily have created a uh, stream deck button for this. If you have a look at my previous video, I explain how to do that or maybe a, a keyboard shortcut or something like that. Uh, so those are all uh, controlled from here. If you come up into the settings, uh, you could have a little menu bar action. Again, I've covered all of this in previous videos. Use as a quick action, assign a shortcut or whatever we want to do. Uh, so if you did just want something to pop up on the screen when you hit, hit a hotkey or button on your stream deck to add a new note, uh, then that is the way that you could do it. Incidentally, for this uh, note, because we have granted access to notes, if you come over to this uh, privacy section just up here, um, you'll notice that uh, we have now got notes in there. So that's where we granted it permission. So if you had uh, a particular shortcut that you downloaded or something like that or one that you created uh, this is where you would find all of those permissions and if ever you needed to revoke those positions uh, permissions you could either just delete the shortcut or you could uh, change them in here as well so that is a relatively straightforward example of how you could use the uh, this built-in one to just create a note now if I were to run this again let's have a look, little look at what happens so uh, here what do I want to say this is another note and then if I click on done, and then if I come back over to this view, you'll see that now we've got that other note there as well. So we are just creating a list of notes within that folder uh, with the date as the title. What if we wanted to do something a little bit uh, more clever though? What if we actually wanted to have like a list of things? So I have a number of different running lists, uh, be it for uh, things that I need to get for the studio, be it for gifts for different people, be it for uh, things that I need to research, whatever the case may be. There are lots of uh, uses that I have for basically a running list where I just wanna be able to add things onto this list as we go along or as I go along. So I thought I'd do an example where we uh, look at how we could do this and we'll start with just something just simple. So taking some text and actually adding it to a specific note um, but then we'll get a little bit more complicated and try and uh, give people choices about exactly where they want to uh, append this information and that sort of thing so I've got a new shortcut here that is completely blank so um, let's just say that we have got a specific note we don't now want to just post into the uh, this list of notes here I've got a, a note here called video ideas so this might be one for content creators out there where you want to have a way to just capture these video ideas easily and quickly so that they can just go into your list and then you can come back later and review your list of uh, video ideas so we want to now actually just add something specifically into this note so how would we do about that? How would we do that? <laughs> how would we do about that? Uh, if I speak English for a moment, then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to come back to this. And what we want to do is, first of all, we want to actually find the specific note that we're going to add this to. We're still going to use the append command because we're going to add this to that list. Uh, but we want to actually add it to a specific uh, note. So the way that we can do that is we can uh, search for a note again in here. Uh, and here you can see some different uh, note commands. So what we want to do is we want to find a specific note. So I'm going to click on that one and we want to search for, uh, it's going to find all notes and we want to add some criteria here. And we actually just want the one note really because we just want to add it to this video ideas uh, uh, note. 
So I'm going to add a filter in here and I'm going to add, uh, we've got some different options so we can look for something related to the body as in the body of the text. Uh, we could look for something related to the folder that the note is in, uh, the creation date, last modified or the note name. So I want to find this be, uh, by the fact that it is in this one particular folder. So if I click on folder, um, then I can come down here and it's actually in my notes folder on TOT take one text. So if I click in that one, uh, so now it's going to look for uh, notes that are in that particular folder. And now if I click on add another filter, we want to look for that specific note now. Um, so there I want to search for one with the title or the name uh, and it contains uh, anything. Uh, it doesn't have to contain anything. It needs to contain uh, video ideas like that. So now that is going to find uh, the video ideas note within the uh, notes folder of Take One Tech. Okay, so if you remember when we talked about variables, the importance of uh, using variables rather than just relying on uh, notes magic variables, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually call this, uh, give this a variable name. So this is the, uh, the note name basically, and it's the video ideas note name. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to create very, if you haven't seen the variables video, by the way, go ahead and check that out in the description below. I think it was video three. This is video six. Um, so I did uh, cover that in there, but I'm just going to search for a uh, variable and we want to set variable. So this is basically our video ideas note. So that is now uh, the variable video ideas note and it's going to take whatever note it finds in here and there will just be the one. We can actually fi filter this so we can give it a limit of uh, just one uh, but it's a little bit irrelevant because there is only going to be one video with that. Sorry, there is only going to be one note with that name. <laughs> right, so now we want to ask for some input. So let's uh, ask for some input. Uh, we'll use this ask command, ask for input. And we're going to ask with prompt, uh, what's your great idea? Um, so that is the uh, the text that we're going to get. And then what we want to do is we want to uh, set that to be a variable. So I'm going to give that a name. Uh, set variable. And this one is video idea. And that is going to take that uh, input and uh, give it the variable name video idea. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to actually append that to the uh, the note. So what we're going to do is if I go to, um, uh, one second, go to append. And we want to append to note. So I want to append video idea to note. And the note we want, if I come to this drop down, uh, is this video ideas note. Okay, so if I just pop over to my video ideas for a minute, you can see how it's just completely empty. It just says video ideas at the top, that's the title. And then if I come back to here, uh, and then I try and run this. So I'm going to run this one. Uh, what's the great idea? A video about notes. And then if I click on done like that, uh, and then I come back to my list, you can see that now it has just added in a video about notes. Uh, wait a minute, I think I've got another great idea. Let me just type this one on as well. <laughs> so this one is, if I run it again, it's going to ask me again. So a video about shortcuts. Uh, and I click done. And that has now added that to the list as well. So with this action, we have now, or with this shortcut, I should say, we've now got a little pop-up that is coming up to uh, basically capture all of our notes as they come up. And once again, we could assign this to a little Stream Deck button or something like that, so that every time we have that stroke of genius, that little light bulb moment, we could click on our little light bulb button and it would pop up and we can type our little uh, thing that we want to remember in and then it would add it into our running list. But wait! Typing is hard. What if you don't have your hands free, uh, you're busy multitasking doing something else and the ideas come to you and you just want to speak it? Well, we can actually do that as well because there is a dictate function. So let's come and just modify this slightly and we will uh, we will add that in instead. So if I come back over here, uh, what I'm going to do is if I just clear this little uh, window away, um, rather than uh, asking for text, let's just come back and just delete this, shall we? I'll just delete all of these. Uh, and what I'm going to do in here instead is I'm going to use the dictate function. So dictate text. And here what we want to do is we want to then append. So if I go append, whoops, again. 
Uh, and I did, I'm, I'm redoing this just to show you how it looks when you're starting this from scratch. Uh, you'll see that it does take that dictated text straight away uh, and then we can add it in again to, uh, for, to the video ideas note. Uh, we could assign a variable to that, but I will skip that just for the moment. We'll get onto that in a moment because we're going to go one step further with this in a moment as well. So uh, that's going to take the dictated text and it's going to just add that into the video ideas note once again. So just to refresh our memory, <laughs> here is what we've got in there so far. Just these two ideas. Uh, now if I come back and I just run this one and it's going to prompt me to actually speak. I've got another great idea for a video. So now it's captured that and if I come back here over here you can see that that has just dropped straight in and in fact if I just uh, do it live again now you'll be able to see how that goes in. So this is an even better idea, the best yet. And you can see that it's just populating that uh, that note. So this is a great way to just add things into your running notes. But wait, what if you want to get a little bit more complicated? What if you uh, want to use it for, say, capturing URLs or something like that? Maybe you're browsing websites, you're doing some research or whatever it is, uh, and you want to capture these uh, really useful websites. Uh, but more than that, you want to be able to add a little bit of narration around what they are so that you just don't end up with a list of links and things like that. Um, Let's do that first and then I'll take it one step further again after that. Uh, so let's uh, think how we might want to do that. If I come back to this uh, uh, over here and we'll just uh, use exactly the same uh, note and we'll just edit this again. So I'm going to come back out of here and I'm just going to uh, uh, delete this little output window. I'm going to delete that as well. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to assign this to be a variable. Uh, in fact, let's not. Let me just do it the, the quick and easy way. I'll do that on the next section. <laughs> next section. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to do uh, uh, text. I'm going to add in a uh, little text box uh, that we're going to add a load of things to. So this is where we're going to create the body of our, uh, of our note, basically, or the body of note that we want to add in. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, let's say we want to have the date that we recorded it in case we want to go back and look at the URL in our history or something like that, or look at what else we're doing there, who knows. Uh, we can simply do this by right clicking, insert variable, and you can search for uh, current date. It's just off the bottom of the screen. Let me just move that up so that you can at least see it. Insert variable, uh, current date, and it's asking whether you want the uh, uh, what, what you want, the date and then the date format. So let's just have the regular format and the time, uh, let's say none, because we don't actually need a time, we just want the date itself. Uh, so that's gonna get as the current date. Then let's say we're gonna use this and we're gonna trigger it when we want to copy a URL uh, and say out of the browser, and then we want to uh, add our little notes to it. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to uh, copy the clipboard or insert variable, which is uh, the clipboard contents. And then I'm going to add another new line uh, and then here I'm going to add in that dictated text just like we did before. So there we go, dictated text. Uh, so that is a block of text and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that append command and I'm going to append to note. Uh, append text, so it's just taking this text and append that to that note. Uh, again, I've been a bit naughty because I should have really called each of these explicit variables, but for the time being, I'll uh, take this approach so that you can see what we're actually trying to do here. Uh, now, if I go over to a uh, website, I'm going to go over to my Buy Me A Coffee page and I'm just going to copy the URL. So I've pressed Command C to copy it. Now I'm going to run this little uh, command and let's see what happens. This is a great site to visit. So that's now popped up. Now if I come over to my, uh, my notes again, what you'll see is it has added this in to my, uh, my note. So over here again, we are now got the, uh, the date, 23rd of February, and it's got my buy me a coffee page, buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. Of course, I should definitely mention that if you are enjoying this video, that's the best way to go and support the channel on a one-off or ongoing basis. <laughs> and it's got the little note that I dictated, this is a great site to visit. This is a great way to actually populate these sorts of things where you want to add sort of spoken notes to things as well as the thing that you're copying to give them context and add in dates and things like that. 
let's have a look at another example, shall we? What happens if you want, I've got multiple different lists? Like for example, uh, I'll use an example, shall I? If I come over to my little lists folder, I've got uh, my wife and kids down here, Emily, Jasmine, May, and Dale. And uh, then I've also got a tech wish list. This is really daddy's list, isn't it? Let's be fair, uh, but I'll call it tech wish list. So what happens if we are, have got this as our sort of little shopping list, for example, our gift shopping list, and we wanna be able to add things, you know, as we uh, come across them in our day to day, uh, I often see things that I think, oh, that would be nice for Emily, for Dale, for Jasmine, for May or whoever, um, or for daddy. <laughs> so let's just say that we wanna actually have these as a collection of lists um, where we can add, you know, URLs to these products or whatever it happens to be be uh, maybe Amazon links or who knows what it is. Um, but we don't want to create a custom action for each of these. We just want to prompt ourselves or the user <laughs> ourselves with a list of these notes so we can actually choose where we want to append this thing. Uh, I thought this would be a good example to show how you can use basically multiple choice uh, for, uh, for users when they are creating these things or when they are actually triggering these things rather. Um, so let's go through and have a look at how we might want to, uh, to do that. So first of all, I'm going to uh, come back over here. Uh, in fact, let's actually create a completely new shortcut, shall we, so that we are working with a sort of blank canvas again. Um, this is going to be uh, somewhat similar, but the first thing we want to do is because the previous one, um, it was actually creating, uh, this was append to note, append to video ideas note. Uh, but this one here, we want to basically give people a choice of notes. So append to choice of notes. Okay. The first thing we need to do, uh, if I move that back down in the screen where you can see it, you might have wondered what I was typing. I was typing in the name. <laughs> so here we go, append to choice of notes. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually get a list of all of those potential notes. So I want to give people the uh, the choice. I say people, it's me, let's face it. Uh, I want to give the user, myself, the choice of which of these notes to append to. The reason why it's good to do it like this as well is because you can just go in and add in as many notes as you want, and then I will be presented with all of those different ones that I can choose from uh, later. Uh, so this will all make sense as we go through. Uh, but here, for the, for the start, it's gonna have the names of uh, all of these lovely people. Um, so let's go back to uh, to here for a moment. So what we want to do is we want to actually extract that name of uh, th those names of those notes in order to present it as a choice when we are deciding where we want those uh, that to append our note. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> uh, so let's first of all use that exact same function that we used before, which was to uh, basically find those uh, notes. So I'm going to use the find note function, find notes. Uh, and what we want to do now is uh, we want to find all notes and we want to find all notes in that specific folder. And the folder I created was called lists. So I'm going to look for a uh, in a specific folder and I'm going to search for that one. Oh, it's pulled it up already. Look, uh, it is that one, lists. Uh, but that's the only thing we want to do because we're wanting to just basically extract those uh, names from there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we have found all of those notes. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, choose from command uh, here because we want to give people a, a choice. So choose from list. Uh, and the list is actually, because I've put that underneath there, it's just gonna take out that list of file names. So it's gonna choose from that. Now, if I was to just run this now, you can see what's happening. Can you see how that has just got given us this little pop-up and it's pulled out all of those uh, little uh, little lists there as well. So if I was to uh, just cancel that, and let's say that I go and add a new list to there. Uh, what's the daisy? I've just uh, closed that, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Uh, if I open that up, I'm going to add a, uh, a new list in here. There we go. That would help. So I'm just going to type in uh, two more. Whoops, Daisy. Notes quit unexpectedly. It certainly did. Naughty boy. Uh, so I'm going to just put in another couple of uh, lists in there now so you can see how this is going to update. And now if I rerun this, you can see that now uh, it's actually added in. We've also got mom and dad in there as well because we can't forget them, can we? <laughs> so now we've, uh, you can see that the, the point of this is how we can add more and more lists to our lists list, <laughs> and then we will get to choose from them uh, when we are coming to assign these things or append these things to our list. Uh, once again, this will all make sense when it's all finished. So the next things we want to do are basically what we've already done actually, which is we want to add that little dictate function in. So I'm going to add in dictate. We're just gonna do exactly the same as we did before, dictate text. 
and I'm going to add this up here. And then what we want to do is we want to add some text. So I'm going to add a little text box and I'm going to add this up here because we want to actually get all of this stuff up front. So this is going to basically have our insert variable. It's going to have our, uh, let's say we have the date again. And we're going to do the same as before. The uh, short form, no time. And then we're going to enter and then we're going to add in here the insert variable, which is the clipboard. And then we're going to add in another note here, which is the dictated text. So this is the same format as we did before. I'm just showing you how you can use this as the multiple choice to append to different notes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assign a variable to that as well. So I'm going to insert uh, set vari variable, bit of a mouthful today. There we go, set variable. Uh, and I'm just going to call that one uh, note content. And so that's going to take that text and assign it to note content. And so this is choosing from uh, notes. Uh, and so we could select here, we could set another variable. We could call this the uh, note name. And so that's going to basically pop up this multi-choice, uh, ask us to choose the note, and that becomes the note name. Uh, and then we're just going to use our good old friend, the append command, uh, and we're going to use append to note. And you can see, by the way, just quickly, you can see that this append is a very common thing that you have with notes. You can append to Dropbox text files. I actually use pretty much exclusively a text file system. Uh, and so I do a lot of my appending and my running notes and all of my notes are actually just .txt files. So I tend to use this one for appending to text files in Dropbox, but I'll stick with uh, this notes because I know that this is a common application for the time being. But just to let you know that all of the steps that we're doing, you could equally be appending to an Evernote note, a uh, side notes note, a bear note or whatever app you happen to be using. Um, but here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna append uh, um, note name. Well, actually, no, we don't. We want to append the variable that we want is if I just come into here, we want to actually append our note content, which is just down there. And we want to append that to note name. Okay, so hopefully this has made a little bit of sense. But basically, first of all, what we're doing is we're going to use the same command as we did before. So we're going to copy some text from the screen. Uh, then we, it's going to ask us to dictate some little note about that text and then it's going to compile this little bit of uh, text here which has got the current date, the, the link or whatever we copied from the clipboard. Then it's going to add in the dictated text. It's setting that as the variable called note content. Then it's going to give us a pop-up that says where do you actually want to append this uh, and it's going to pull up a list of all of those list notes that we've got in our lists folder uh, and we can choose whichever we want for those and then it will go and do that appending as we had before. So uh, just to come over here for one second you can see how we've got all of these uh, different people and these are all just empty at the moment uh, so let me say uh, I've just spotted a great idea for a gift for my dad so I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to run this and once again obviously I'm running it from within shortcuts but you can equally just go in here and actually set a keyboard shortcut you can assign a stream deck shortcut however you want to trigger it or trigger it from the menu bar or what have you uh, but this is just to demonstrate the process so now when I run this uh, let, let me just actually copy a link uh, in fact, I'm going to uh, just copy something random. It just happens to be my website, takeonetech.io, <laughs> but it's just going to prove the point. Uh, let's just say that this was actually a link from the uh, Aston Martin dealership or something like that. Uh, so then I'm going to uh, run like this. This would be a great car for my dad. And then you see it's actually popped up with this extra pop up here and it's asking me which note I want to uh, post it to. So let me just click on dad and then click done. And then here, this is this privacy thing again. It's ask, actually asking for uh, permission to, uh, to write to these different notes. So once again, this is only going to happen the first time you run it. So click on always allow. And then if I come over to my notes, you'll see that it has now added that to my uh, running list of uh, gifts for my dad. Uh, so what about if I uh, had uh, another one? I'll just show you how this runs without that little privacy pop up. Uh, so if I just click on run again and again, assume that I've copied something. Jasmine really loves slime. She does as well, by the way. <laughs> so click on Jasmine, who is my little nine-year-old. <laughs> uh, parents, 
not so keen on slime. Children, love it. <laughs> the furniture, also not so keen. <laughs> but now if I come over to my notes again, you can see that now we've got that one that I added in for my dad and then also this little gift idea for Jasmine as well. Now all of that is just to show the sorts of things that you can do uh, related to notes with the Shortcuts app. There is of course a lot more that you can do but certainly by just digging into these sorts of things you'll get a much better idea of uh, the scope of uh, things that you can do and hopefully those examples will prove useful and it will give you an idea of maybe all of the other possibilities that are opened up to you. I will be doing some more advanced Shortcuts uh, videos in due course related to notes and all sorts of other applications as well uh, but don't go anywhere because the next video that is coming right up now is related to images and how you can work with images with the Shortcuts app. So I'll see you there.